Hi everyone, welcome to our uh, YouTube channel, uh, Excel Support. Again, uh, we are coming to you again with a new lesson. That is lesson number two. Uh, before we start the lesson, I should thank uh, my viewers. Uh, thanks very much for our lesson one. More than six thousand uh, students and viewers they have uh, watched my lesson number one video. Very thankful for that. So today we are going to do lesson number two. That's about the double entry system. So first of all, I will share the screen. <clears throat> this is our lesson number two. So you are getting ready for your IEA LED Excel examination, PSN examination. So this is uh, very important to you know. Because there are some students who start uh, A-levels accounting without doing all the work. So, therefore, it's very important to start from the uh, basic level. So, that's why I start like that. So, everyone can catch up the uh, thing from uh, basic, even from basic things. So, uh, when we consider double entry system, we can't forget uh, the person uh, part of accounting, that is uh, Luca Pacioli. He's the one who introduced this uh, double entry system to this world. We call it duality concept. Every transaction has a debit and credit entry. So first we'll talk about debit and credit rules. Before we uh, talk about that, I want to tell something to you students. Actually, uh, at the beginning, when you are starting this accounting, this can be a confusing, it can be confused for you, but it's not difficult with time. Uh, with time, it will be okay. Uh, so, in addition to that, I won't tell. There are two methods I will introduce to you. One is logical method to understand the double entry system. The other thing is uh, through learning by heart, uh, you can uh, get uh, an idea. Uh, so, first, we'll start the rules, debit and credit rules. At first, it is natural for the debit credit rules seem confusing. However, the debit credit rules are logical. To advise to memorize the debit and credit rules. So, if you can understand logically, actually, you don't need to remember everything. But if it is difficult to understand in that way, the other method is learn by heart. So, both methods will be explained in this lesson. So, we'll go to the next slide. accounts day-to-day -day business transactions are recorded using double entry system the dual aspects of giving and receiving is recorded in the day-to-day -day reports the simple t account is divided into two sides by the center line the left hand side is the debit side abbreviated to dr and the right hand side is the credit side abbreviated to cr Normally in accounting, I told you in first lesson even, there are five accounts. They are assets, expenses, income, liability, and capital. So I, I introduced a small uh, concept for everyone to understand by myself. I consider assets and expenses, they are like brothers, like two brothers. So then you know assets and expenses are like brothers, they have same features. The other three is liability, income, and capital. We can consider them sisters. So three sisters. So we have two brothers and three sisters. Why I categorize in that way? Because assets and expenses, when we consider the double entry rules, they act, they act uh, in the same way. Asset and expense. Liability and income and capital acts in a different way. So we will learn the rules now. Assets and expenses. You can see see my uh, mouse point. Assets and expenses. When they are increased, uh, when they are in, when they increase, it will be debited. Asset increases, relevant asset account will be debited. Expenses increase, relevant expense account debit same way asset decreases 
relevant asset account will be credited. Expenses decreases, relevant expense account will be credited. That's the first important rule you have to remember. Assets and expenses. So they are brothers, so we don't need to do individually assets and expenses since they are brothers, same features they have. So assets and expenses, when they increase, mm -hmm. it will be debited and decreased, it will be credited. I believe you understood that rule. Therefore, we are moving to the next slide. See this example. March 2nd, 2016, business bought premises for 20,000 and paid by check. So we bought a premises. So premises is one account. And we paid by check. So bank will be involved since we are paying by check. The other account is bank account. So our two accounts will be premises account and the bank account. Premises account and the bank account. Now from this transaction, you identified two accounts. They are premises account and the bank account. Now, next step is to identify which one is debited and which one is credited. Now, premises account, it's an asset account. Premises is an asset. Bank account is also an asset. It was money in the bank. Now, what will happen here when you buy a when you purchase or when you buy your premises, the premises will come to your organization, come to your business. So asset will increase. So we go to the previous rule, asset increases. This increases. Relevant asset account debit. Therefore, premises account should be debit. I told you that when you are having a T account, your credit side, credit side your left hand side is the credit debit side and your right hand side is the credit side so premises will be debited so we we'll record it in the debit side i'm not going to teach you recording i'm just giving an idea only now from this lesson debit side remember premises is debit and the other one is check check means you have paid that money from your bank account so money in the bank will be reduced so bank account is also an asset asset will be reduced Therefore, if you go to this uh, rule, asset decreases, relevant asset account will be credited. Therefore, here bank is recorded in your credit side. Bank is recorded in your credit side. I think you understood that. We go to the next slide. Next slide explains about our three sisters. That is our three accounts, liability revenue and capital since they act in the same way we call them three sisters so what will happen here liability income and the capital when they decreases that relevant account will be debited and when they increase relevant account will be credited when they decrease, relevant account will be debited. And when they increase, relevant account will be credited. So it's opposite of assets and expenses. I think you understood about the rule. If you go to the next slide. Further, we can explain about this double entry rule in this way. This is for the normal balance. Now you get a normal balance, beginning balance, beginning of the month or beginning of the year balance if you are given. Same, assets and expenses, normally they have debit balance. Normally. But liability income capital increases as opposite. They are having normally credit balance. I think you understood. Normal balance. This is about normal balance. Now we come to what will happen to these particular accounts when they are increased. And when they are decreased. Now, asset and expense already we learned. They are brothers. When they increase, they are debit. Asset debit, expense. Debit. When they decrease, opposite the other one, credit. 
what happened? Liability income and capital system. When they increase, they are debit, they are credit. We are credit. But when they decrease, they are debited. They are debited. So it's very important to understand this rule. If you can logically understand this, and if you can understand example for assets account, expense account, liability income, capital account. So when you are doing transaction, this won't be an issue for you. Okay. But sometimes it can be an issue for some students. Because we can see when we are teaching, we have seen some students a uh, bit, uh, bit difficult for them to uh, get this quickly because this, they are learning for the first time. Therefore, you can learn this important double entry uh, transactions and the double entry format. So you can learn by heart, then you get an idea about the double entry system. The first one, owner started a business by investing $5,000. We, 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 we mainly want to know about what is debit, what is credit. Now, I will explain the logic and uh, do a few transactions, then you will understand how to, uh, how, uh, how, how are we going to record it in the debit side and the credit side. Or oh, even if you study, learn by heart, this is okay. I want to start a business by investing. You must remember, uh, business and the owner even should be considered as two separate individuals. There is an accounting concept called business and debt concept, according to that. Now, imagine when the owner comes, the owner puts money into the business, you are thinking all the business point of view, then the money in the business will increase. Therefore, we can say, because we are thinking all this business point of view, cash account will be debited because he's putting money. And <clears throat> asset increases, the relevant asset account debit, so cash will be debited. Same time, the capital also, the money, put, the owner, when he puts the money, we call it capital. The capital also will increase. Capital also will increase. But capital com comes under the three sister. When they increase, it should be credit. Therefore, capital account will be credited. Capital account will be credited. Again, if I go to that particular rule, now capital increases credit. So that's why we credited here. Yeah. Next one, paid electricity, $1,000. So there are two accounts. Remember, paid by cash, electricity and cash. So expenses will increase. Therefore, expense account will be debited. And the cash asset will be reduced. Since you are paying, cash will be credited. Same way, see cash sales. There are two accounts, cash accounts and the sales account. When you do cash sales, the money will come into the business, so cash account will be debited since assets will increase. And sales is an income account, you know, and sales also will increase. Income increases, relevant income account credit because there is sales account credit. Cash account debit, sales account credit. Credit sales. Remember, you are selling goods on credit basis. You don't get the cash at the same time, you will get the cash later. Till he pays that money, we call them trade receivables or we call them debtors. So, normally, uh, the new term that uh, PSN, uh, uh, PSN specification asks us to use the term trade receivable. So remember, uh, not the debtor is a traditional word which we are using from the beginning, but remember to use trade receivable. That's the word we use in trade debtors. So, <coughs> trade receivable account debit. And the sales account credit, sales increase relevant sales account credit. Okay. So assets will increase here, yeah, that's why debtors are debit. Cash purchases. There are two accounts, cash account and the purchase account. Remember, purchase account is an expense account. When you purchase, cash will go, therefore, cash credit. Expenses will increase as yes, relevant expense account debit, purchase account debit. If Credit purchase. Uh, when you purchase goods on credit basis, 
trade payables or creditors will be created. Purchase is an expense account, you know, and trade payable is a liability account. So purchase will increase us. So purchase account debit. Trade payable is a liability. Increase the relevant liability account credit. So creditors account credit. Next one. Sold a computer for cash. Sold a computer for cash. Now, most important thing here, you must understand. Sold a computer mean not the sold goods. Sold goods mean cash shares or uh, sold goods means you are selling uh, you are selling goods that means the goods that the company used to sell free sell now here they are selling a computer maybe uh, they are not using that computer therefore they are selling so therefore you don't write the account sales here that's very important so in this case we get two accounts when you sell you get money so cash account and the other one is disposal of computer account. You'll be getting a computer account. Mainly disposal is the word we use normally. So cash account will be debited. Disposal of computer account will be credited. Purchase a computer for cash. So here we don't use the purchase account because it's not goods. So computer account will be debited and the cash account will be credited. Sold a computer on credit basis. Now you are selling the sales account won't come you know why is that now so trade receivable or the data will be created as an asset will increase it so data's account debit and the computer account credit purchase a computer on credit now purchase account will not come since it is not good so your uh, trade payable or creditors will be created therefore here uh, that small printing error is there when you purchase a computer, the computer account should be debited here and the trade payable or credit account should be credit. Please correct it. Very important in your notes, books. Uh, it is a mistake, small printing mistake here. Uh, okay. uh, good drawings. Uh, drawings, when I say about drawing, you must understand what is drawings. Drawings means the owner takes money or goods from the business for his personal usage. That's called drawing. Now, as an example, uh, the owner takes cash from the business to pay his son's school fees. It's an example for drawing. Now, there are two types of drawing. One is good drawing, and he takes goods. Other one is cash drawings. So, when it's good drawing, so cash drawing, whatever happens, drawing count will be debited since it's an expense. Drawing count debit, both the cases. And here, good drawing purchase account will be credited. And if it is a cash drawing, drawing account will be debited and cash account will be credited. M. Deposited money in the bank. This is a very important point. When you deposit money in the bank, money will go to your bank account, therefore, bank account will be debited. And the money in your hand will go out, so cash account will be credited. Next one. Last one withdrew cash from the bank so you have taken money from the bank so cash will come to you cash account will be debited and money is going from the bank bank will be credited so those are the examples uh, so if you study this you'll get some idea about the double entry uh, and how to use them we go to next slide uh, this is about sales purchase and returns so sales mean we have done sales and purchase returns we haven't done so i will do that double entry when we have journals so that's the sales return and purchase return we call it sales return uh, return inverse and purchase return return outwards uh then the carriage inverse this term is very important it occurs when business has to pay for purchase goods to be delivered to its premises it's an expense record in the cost of sales carriage inverse and the carriage outward mean it occurs when the business pay for sold goods to be delivered to the customer's friends. Now, here will be recorded in your normal uh, state, uh, statement of comprehensive income and ex expense will be recorded. Uh, drawings I have already explained. Uh, so, the same thing will be here. Mm. Uh, there are, now, we go to next slide. That's about some. I think you get some idea about double end system. So, if you are having an issue, you can uh, you can uh, come in. Uh, you can ask questions. You can 
uh, we can reply and if you have a comment to improve our channel please let us know uh, we got some comments from some students uh, all over the world so it's a great happy to uh, get those uh, comments from you all so i will improve in the future further uh, and thank you very much who uh, who have given us uh, suggestions and comments uh, okay so the sum one uh, so i thought of uh, doing uh, the sum one you to, you to try it try it. but i will do the sum two <sighs> write a double entry and record them relevant key accounts of donald trump's business change the name donald's business uh first january 2020 owner started a business by investing thousand dollars in cash now in this case we have two accounts one account is cash account and the other account is So you we'll see which now you can see in this case cash account is there capital account is there when the owner puts money into the business cash will increase so asset will increase so asset increases relevant asset account debit therefore cash will be debited same time capital also will increase in the business so capital increases the relevant capital account credit because this uh, uh, category Uh, next one is uh, paid rent so in this case we have two accounts one you know the rent account should be there rent account should be there then there should be another account that is your money they are paid by cash this is not mentioned check so it must be cash account uh, so we will record cash account so now we identify which which one uh, which account to be debited and which account to be credited so when you pay rent expense your rent expense will increase so rent account will be debited and uh, uh, also add, and the cash account will be credited those money is going from the business to pay the rent next one is purchase goods on cash so remember it's purchase goods so when the purchase goods is their purchase account will come okay therefore you pay money to purchase goods therefore two account should be i'll write one account here purchase account and the other account should be So expense, what is an expense? So expense incurred on purchase account debit, and the money is going from the business so it's credit. That's done. Uh, next one, I think we have to do some arrangement here. So the next one is paid insurance. So paid insurance four hundred dollars. So your two accounts should be there. One is insurance account. One is an expense account. And the other account should be insurance account. 
down and right here. And the account should be cached. So insurance account should be debited since the expenses increase. Uh, but you are paying from your cash, so it will be reduced assets so credit. The insurance account will be debited and the cash account will be credited. We go to the next slide. We are continuing with sum two. Purchase goods and credit from Bill Gates company 2000. So we have taken uh, goods. So two accounts should be there. Please tell us purchase account, you know, correct purchase account. Account. The other account should be purchase goods on credit. So, who will be created? Purchase goods, credit purchases. Remember, it's credit purchase, trade payable will be created or credit. Trade payable or the credit. Okay, so Purchase is an expense account. When you purchase, expense will increase or a limited expense account will be. And the trade payable is a liability increases, so relevant liability account will be credited according to the rule. Next one cash sales. Cash sales, 7,000 cash sales. So two accounts will be one is cash account. And the other one is sales account. So when you sell goods, cash will come to you, business. So cash will be asset will increase. The loan asset is cash. So asset account will be debited. And income also will increase as but according to rule, they are coming under sisters. So it should be credited. Income increases, the loan income become credit. Next one, sold uh, uh, the sold goods to Biden and company on credit. So uh, credit sale actually, so credit sale. So the trade payable account. Uh, now in this case, I want to tell you this, uh, this gift purchase goods on credit bill gates or bill, uh, bill uh, company. So you can, uh, you can use the term Bill Gates Company account instead of trade payable. Okay, if the name is given. Now in this case, it's also uh, you can write instead of uh, trade receiver, we can use Biden and Company. So write double entry. Biden Company. Account and sales account. So trade receivables asset increases the land asset account debit and sales is an income come under liability income, so it's very increased. So if you get the idea, it's nothing, it's very easy for you for the double entry. To see whether we can do this space, I think you know. See whether we can let I think we can donate a thousand from the business for personal usage. So it's come, it's a uh, drawings will come here. Yeah? Uh, so drawings account will come since he's taking uh, uh, money from the business for his personal purposes. Uh, so it's the drawing account will come into action. So so drawing account will come and the other account is. Uh, Taking money to cash account. So the drawings account will be debited, the expense increases, and money is going from the business, so it will be cash account will be credited. 
So I think we have discussed the complete sum two here. So the sum one is there. Sum one is there for you to do. You can try. Please can take a even screenshot and you can try this. Uh, this is easy. Uh, so I have done one question. So I feel now you get some idea about uh, the double entry system. And uh, uh, please subscribe to my channel and you can click the bell button so then you can get new videos when we upload and uh, thank you very much again for your comments and ideas so i will do changes in the future so we will meet you again with lesson number three so till that uh, be safe uh, due to the situation in the world and uh, See you again. Bye for me.